we're about to perform another milestone in the fascination with Ethiopia, coming from uh, Jamaica. This is a tune that came out and was recorded in uh, 1969 originally. It was, uh, as I said, a milestone. Um, it was ahead of its time. Uh, I guess the culture was not ready for this yet at that time because it was recorded for uh, Cox and Dodd's Studio One label. And uh, producer Cox and Dodd did not release the recording, though it was recorded in 1969, and it wasn't until the group who sang it, the Abyssinians, re released it in 1976 when Jamaica was undergoing a cultural transformation and a heightened consciousness of cultural roots that it was actually it came out again and people were aware of it. 69, they weren't ready for that. 69 was more of the wine and grind era, and uh, this kind of spiritual stuff was not uh, there yet. So, a tune called Sata Masagana. Group is the Abyssinians, Jamaican group, and uh, they tried to write a song with words in Amharic, Ethiopian language of Amharic. They failed. <laughs> they put some words together from the Ethiopian dictionary, <laughs> intending to mean something like praise him continually and give thanks and all that kind of good stuff, but um, didn't quite know the grammar of the language, I guess. So um, it's a grammatically incorrect Amharic intended to mean give thanks to God and let us praise him continually. Sata Masagana Aham Lakula Giz. All right. Ritsa.
on board tomorrow, Ben. Great to see all the little faces from all our places. And thank you.